if you, you know, gun to your head, top three, top five long term cryptocurrencies, how would you rank them? First, second, third, fourth, fifth? It's Hex, it's Pulse and Pulse X. Those are like the, the top. Uh, and I mean, I, I think there are a lot of ones that are, there's pretty, pretty certain, there's a lot of certainty that they're going to stick around. I think like Ethereum is one of them. I think Monero is one of them. Um, but the mad gains aren't there. Sure. Um, uh, and then, you know, in order to find ones that you're talking about, like you get like massive, massive gains over the next couple of years. I mean, those, you got to really dig deep to find them. So I think, uh, I think, I think, I think it's not worth my while to dig deep to find them because I already found three, but, um, I mean, right. yeah, there, there are, right. there are, there are going to be ones out there that do thousand X's at least in the next bull market, in my opinion, you know, there are going to be them, but, uh, but there are very, very few and you're going to have to really dig deep and, you know, in order really in order to really find that alpha and have that certainty. So, yeah. I mean, so there are some good ones that I really like. I think, uh, I think outside, you know, hex pulse pulse X. I think, uh, I think uh, Monero is here to stay. I mean, that's amazing technology, and it's it's proven worthwhile. It's being used. You know, Ethereum is being used. Uh, Chainlink. I'm not so fluent in the the technology, but oracles are important. Um, as for whether that's going to be the, I know there are other oracle, you know, cryptos like API three and things like that. So. I don't know which, you know, you just don't know which one's going to make it. It's kind of like the dot-com bubble and you don't know uh, which ones are just going to rug you. So I think there, there, there are definitely, and de DEXs are incredible technology also. So I think Uniswap is going to be around, but I think there's going to be no mad gains. Uh, I mean, maybe there will, who knows, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, risk reward, it's, it's, it's the trifecta, right? No, of it's, course, it's what yeah. it calls it. So I, I think that's where, where I stick. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I appreciate your, your point of view greatly, especially in this kind of market, man, where everyone, this market's largely driven by narrative, by emotion. Everyone's ha has this constant emotional need to try and find the new shiny gem. But when you have a great shiny gem sitting right in front of you, you know, perhaps there's less of a need to really continue and to just try and find the newest thing, newest thing, newest thing when you have a great thing. Right yeah. yeah 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 but the problem is a lot of people are on dry powder waiting to buy pulse chain and pulse x and they see pumps happening and a th something is to, to realize also is if you're buying a project because it's going up uh then you're go you're gonna get wrecked and the reason for that is because like think about hex like why'd you buy it i bought it because of the t-share system you know i bought it because of the oa track record i bought it because of the um the community, like all these metrics matter, you know, the T share, all those kinds of things. Like that's why I bought it. So when it goes down, I buy more. And when it goes up, I also buy more and I sit on my hands and I'm willing to uh, endure the pain and the gains because I know so much about it. But then if some other one goes up, you know, and, and you feel like you're missing out and you have to, 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 to buy into it, like, why are you buying into it? You're buying into it because it went up. So that means when it consolidates, which it likely will, uh, and you see something else going up for that same reason, you're going to swap out of that one and go for the next shiny object. And uh, that's why that mindset really kills people. Cause you know, if let's say you're, you're, you're selling your hex and you're buying Zen right now, it's like, why are you doing that? You're doing it because the price went up. Like you knew all the negative externalities of Zen, but you saw the price went up and you don't want to miss out. So yeah. when that, when it, when it dumps again and hex pumps, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to miss all the pumps and you're going to pretty much buy tops and you'll, you'll never make it. You'll never make it. You really need a, you really need a, you really need a, even if like you, you, you dumped it for a different coin, let's say, and that coin did amazing. Does it 10,000 X? Like you're not going to get that 10,000 X because along the way, there's always consolidation points. And while it's consolidating, there are other cryptos out there that are doing these uh, these thousand X runs or doing these massive runups that everyone's talking about. And for the same reason that you, you know, you, you dumped and went and chased the pump, you're going to do it again and again and again. So I think, uh, I think it takes, a, you got to be focused. You got to be mature. You got to really be willing to pass up opportunities um, in order to really make it. What's your, to kind of perhaps uh, attempt to take the other side of this, What's your view on diversification? Do you think there's any pros? I mean, there's a lot of people that argue that, you know, you got to be uh, separated in between different narratives, different categories, you know, your layer ones, your DeFi, your, your gaming. What's your take on diversification? How important is that to you? 
Well, I mean, why? Are you, I mean, you know the answer. Diversification. I want to hear your protection answer. against it. What was the Warren Buffett thing? It's uh, it's it's uh, it's to protect you against an ignorance or something, whatever. It's like, yeah, I mean, diverse. My diversification for the sake of diversification is in index funds, which are mm -hmm. the safest thing. Which you know you could put in your Roth IRA, and 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 they'll go up like eight percent a year and give you a good retirement. So like, even if all crypto, the crypto zone fails, you know, I, I have that. That's my diversification. As far as diversification in crypto, I mean, it's 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 stupid. Like, so I want to I want to diversify into what into AI. I mean, if there's an AI coin that I, I'm really bullish on and I know a lot about, then uh, I'd be happy to diversify into it. But I haven't found one yet, and I don't feel the need to to really look hard. And, and it's just a waste of time because I'm in something so good. But I mean, I, I wouldn't diversify for the sake of diversifying. Uh, I would diversify if, if there's an opportunity that comes, you know, but I, I think I, I think uh, it, it's hard for me to imagine an opportunity better than what we're in over the short term. I think uh, and, and if there's a good reason, I'd be happy to. You know, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a purist. Not right. A so kid. more so if you can understand it and understand the opportunity. Sure. Great. But like you mentioned, diversification for the sake of diversification. Yeah, that's index yeah. funds. But uh, that's that, that I have some of that. And. Maybe I shouldn't even, you know, but, uh, you know, there is always the pot there, there, there are always these, you know, scenarios you can make up in your head why uh, any crypto would fail. And, uh, you know, to really and also just it's it's not mentally it's not good for your mental health to have all your money in something that drops 97 percent. So I think <laughs> I think, for, you know, part of being in indexes, I think it gives you the the ability to, uh, you know, to, to have that, stomach piece, that you know right. you could stomach the volatility knowing that you're taken care of in uh in that but as far but i'm saying like when crypto drops everything drops at once and it drops they all drop really really hard so you know diversifying in crypto it's not going to protect you against right. the volatility of the market i mean that's a good that's a great yeah. point we, we, crypto specifically is extremely correlated it's not like the stock market where you know if finance is doing okay technology you know finance not doing good technology yeah. might be doing okay no crypto is very very correlated yeah uh for sure now you know i actually want to uh hover on that point for a bit so is, you mentioned that you are diversified a bit into uh indexes for the sake of your psychology for the sake of being into something that you know there are pros to being into something more stable for sure but i want to ask you do, are you do you feel like you're going to be tempted to tap into that when pulse chain goes live because you're right during you know if if we're entering a bear uh you know <laughs> stomaching a 97 percent correction ain't fun which an index fund in that case it looks really appealing but in a scenario where hey the bitcoin havings you know just around the corner we're going to enter a bull market do you feel like you'd be at all tempted to perhaps uh, ditch the, the stable thing for the quote unquote riskier thing short term well the roth no because like that's tax-free and you you get penalized if you take out but mm. regular regular absolutely yeah and we'll see what happens but like definitely, okay def definitely hey yeah we broke the ceiling we go from broke to billions sex up next yo we pot in the pump no vex with hex yeah we locking it up post chain no we not in the rut with a heart like richard the marks we best i'm a day one sacrifice yeah we guess and we going from broke to beef we invest crypto we grow with ease we impressing free game believe